Hey friend, it's Pat Sloan here. We've got a relaxing Saturday. Just a bunch of different things we're just gonna talk about. First of all, look, I've got all the tulips made, all nine of them. So I'm actually gonna leave that up here and cut the sashings. Here's the pattern, because it was from our um, Sweet Childhood Memories, block number 13, the fun school memories. Uh, so I am going to cut all the sashings. And then that way, maybe I can get this done before my trip. That, you know, at least get the top sewn. I think that would be fabulous. <laughs> then uh, when I come back, I can just do a quick wave stitch on it and bind it and put it up. So yeah, that is, that is exciting. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this week we had our scavenger hunt was the fabulous quilt bags. And you all showed some really fun bags, bags from stores, bags from sayings, you know, like either um, you uh, panels and made them into bags, uh, just a lot of fun stuff. I thought it was a great scavenger hunt. And if you have not checked out uh, the photos at Quilt Along with Pat Sloan, get on over there to Facebook and do that. Hope you join in on the scavenger hunt next month. It is always super fun. You guys are, su are so creative and so willing to jump in. And the scavenger hunt, you don't have to make anything. You just got to look around and show a picture. So that, <laughs> yay, that's, it's really easy. <laughs> now tomorrow is mushroom day. This is very fitting because today we have a visit with the gnomes. So gnomes and mushrooms, you know, they just kind of go together. So it is mushroom day. And let me just tell you um, a couple things. I don't know why I've just sort of reignited a love of mushrooms. Does that happen? You know, you, you love something. I did, I did sort of like them a long time ago, but recently there's just been so many cute things, cute mushroom things. I'm just sort of re in love with mushrooms again. But when I was in college, one of my buddies, her family owned a mushroom farm in uh, Reading, Pennsylvania. And so I went home with her on the weekends a couple of times and uh, she, you know, got to see, I didn't actually get a tour of the farm, but her mom had this massive collection of mushroom things in the kitchen. The kitchen was full of mushroom knickknacks. It was so fun. So I have uh, just a few to show you. I don't, I didn't dig around in the fabric. I know there's some fabric and I have some fabric coming, a piece of fabric coming with mushroom on it. But, uh, and I have that one little one in the, um, in Scrappiness is Happiness, the one print. But here is a tea towel I've been using and you can still get these. So the link is down below in the description box. So this is, I love these. These are by Gingerbur and I love her drawing so much. Uh, and the quality, this tea towel, I, I like it. I like the quality. I've been using it and washing it and all the colors are staying really firm, uh, really good. And she also did for this uh, fabric line, which I'll link you just to all mushroom fabrics at the Fat Quarter Shop below in the description box, but also this pattern that she did. So cute. That's a super cute one. Okay, another mushroom story, my backstory on mushrooms is that there was, this was a long time ago and I don't even have them, but somebody put out tiny little applique mushroom blocks, you know, like they did 12 or something. And so you came every week and you downloaded the little mushroom block. And I so wish I would have either embroidered them or sewn them. I mean, now it's like, who knows where I stored those. <laughs> I think they're like a prior computer. They're all gone. So they, they are gone, but it's like, they were just so darling, sweet, sweet little mushrooms. Okay. The other mushroom thing I have, is I have some in this group of stickers I got, you remember them? So I thought you might like to see the stickers again because you can get them. Uh, these are from Amazon, but they have so they're so cute. They're like, there's styles and this is what's called cottage core style. So like this sort of warm, cozy colors, the, the, um, theme is very much a cottage. Look, look at the book. Look, since we're doing the library quilt, look at that sticker. Isn't that perfect to put on something? And then there's just, there's critters <laughs> and like, you know, but the colors are these warm cozy. There's a rainbow in the warm cozy taupe and oct aqua soft aqua here's a here's another mushroom and there's just like different things like well there's a guitar there's a ball jar so anyways you get the idea there's just a whole lot of fun stuff in this packet there's the fox what is it what did the fox say yep 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 so they're cottage core whoop a snail okay 
I could keep going, but you can go look. You you can get the whole, um, it's just a whole package of them. So they're super darling. So if you love that look, <laughs> give it a go, give it a go. Now I wanna show you on these triangles what I'm doing and how I'm doing. I have everything set into twos except for uh, this little group here of like four. So I still have four sets to set into twos. And then from there, I will go to setting them into longer groupings. This is all for the border of our Sweet Childhood Memories quilt. And so I'm really happy with that. It's like I've progressed. For me, because I'm, I'm doing all the sew-alongs, you're, you're just doing certain ones. We're kind of, a lot of them are kind of hitting at the same point where the hair's a, there's a lot of stuff for the settings. And so I'm happy to be able to get some of this moved forward so that in May I can, um, I'll be ready when, when the sew-along ends. Now, before we get to the gnomes, <laughs> uh, I, from for the for the, the videos every video coming for the next however many it takes I am going to talk about one of the upcoming sew alongs we'll do a little deep dive so that you know what's coming up and you can get ready if that's the one you're going to sew along with uh, there'll be hopefully a few less than during the winter because I always bank them up a little bit more in the winter uh, so we're going to go on the back side of the table and talk about the summer starlet an upcoming sew along, which will either start the last week in May, like May 26, or probably a, a week later, which I have to figure out. But it's the Summer Starlet. Here it is on my back wall, so I can enjoy it right now. And we did have kits for them. The Fat Quarter Shop put kits together, but they sold out twice. And the background fabric right now, we're waiting for more to be printed. It's printed, we're waiting for it to get into the country through customs and all that other stuff. So they can't make any more with the, you know, right now with the background, waiting on the background. So they'll make some more once that comes in, which will be like at the very end of May or the beginning of June. Now you could buy the fat quarter bundle of the um, porch swing fabric, which I'm gonna show you the fabric again. Uh, and then you could just use another white background. You could use my Promise Me or some other background that you like. Uh, so you can still get the, all the other parts of the fabric. <clears throat> Look at that. So, so darling. And it is such an easy one to do. And just fun, relaxed, fun sewing. Now it is from the Fat Quarter Shop's book. This is a fantastic book of theirs. If you don't have it yet, you really should pick this up. It is, we're doing the summer, um, co the summer, the cover quilt. <laughs> and let's see. In the book, you know, they've got great directions. They even have like a lot of you know, the regular photo stuff that's, you know, showing you step by step on how to do things. And then they also have it in four different sizes. And so the, the quilts can be done in the crib, a lap, a twin, or a queen. So if you love the design, they have everything in here for multiple sizes of all the quilts that are in here. And it's fat quarter friendly, of course, that's from the, from the name. So everything in here is just fantastic. Uh, let me just show you another favorite of mine. I think this one called Raindrops. I think that is so cool. It's got a little bit of that optical illusion stuff going on. So cool. And like I said, all everything is done in the four different sizes. So you can pick what works for you. And there's some super easy ones that I think uh, this is called um, Circuit. So I think that's a great one for, you know, you if you love strip sewing, it's, you know, it's really good mindless sewing, isn't it? Sewing strips together. <laughs> so this is from the book. So you need the book in order to do this uh, quilt along. Let me show you the fabrics again from Porch Swing, uh, which is in your stores now. So nice. You know, I name the fabrics in the line. You know, there, some of us do that. It's just fun. So this is the first one from Porch Swing, which is called Upsy Daisy. And it has a great big daisy in four different colorways. The aqua that's dark and the aqua that's light. So there's two differences there. The okay, next one is the pedal pushers. <laughs> Thinking in the summer, right? You know, pedal pushers. That's, oh, really, really love this de more dense so that there's a different scales. You know, medium scale, smaller scale, larger. This is like a medium scale for the line. Then I've got the bandana rama. The line is all in black, uh, aqua, and purple. So look at the, look at the black and they just work so well together. It is, and then, ah, oh, 
all you purple purple people eaters out there then chit chat is in the light is a lighter shade of aqua and a lighter shade of purple <gasps> i love this one i love that little flower print nice small print so from a distance it gives you know and there's you know not a lot of high contrast to that print okay we've got swing time which is a darker more dense you know darker colors to the purple and the teal and then the denser print so everything is more you know condensed on here and then the last one is in a, quite a few colors which is lemonade pitchers because you gotta have a lemonade pitcher on the front porch and so there's the the basic uh, white background and then we have the aqua with white vines purple with white vines and then I had to get the big piece here because I used up the little piece already. Um, I used this teal for my March block a day. And then we've got the black and white. So classic. I love the black and white in this line. So there you go. I wanted to share, uh, I'm gonna be sharing uh, a come up, coming so along every video until I've covered them all. Uh, so this is for today is our summer, star, summer starlets. <laughs> So that one is going to be so good because it is great for any level of uh, person who sews. So if you are kind of newish starting out, this is super fabulous. Uh, if you are experienced, it's a great one to just show off the fabric and do a little mindless sewing in the summer. Yes. <laughs> like I said, though, it might have to shift it a week just because I have to, when I do the May calendar, I'll decide, I'll lock in, I'll lock in when it'll happen. So might just be shifting over to starting right in June. Okay, I had a little um, sort of pep talk. Yeah, let's just call it that. <laughs> Uh, because you know this my channel what I do here is I kind of call it like a quilting reality you know reality show no it's really like what I do when I'm sewing you know and that means um, the good the bad and the ugly uh, so if something gets ugly like it make mistakes or whatever um, I'm trying to show you that I have to remember to film it you know if I'm going to undo things like I did the other day where I just showed you how to undo that whole section so that I could fix things in the scrappiness is happiness well that that is real life that we all do because if you make things you will need to undo them or fix them or alter them or change them if you or if you never do that you're not really making much then because it's once you start making things you're going to have to make adjustments whether you've sewed it wrong whether you picked a fabric you didn't like whether you know you you made some other you know switched a block the wrong direction hey i think i did all those in that one block <laughs> that's <laughs> Uh, so it's kind of interesting to me when people will leave me a comment and say, oh, I'm so glad you show your errors. I thought I was the only one. Well, no, everybody makes errors. Everybody has things to change. Everybody changes their mind. Everybody has to make a decision that this is not what I want and to be happy, I will fix it. And so this is kind of a pep talk that if you're somebody who is uh, in that mode right now, you've hit that spot where maybe, maybe sometimes it happens you, you're making a, having to make a lot of changes. Um, it's just, it'll go away. It's just a phase. I mean, I find I'm in that phase right now. I am making a lot of things that I'm like, I have to rip that out. I have to change that. And it's happened to me, you know, like the butterfly things were, you know, hopefully I got them all right. Um, you know, and, and it just feels like a lot, but, um, you know, then I'll go for months and it'll just be a little thing here, a little thing there. So it's just a season. It's just a season you go through with your making and everybody does. And so don't feel, you know, this is your pep talk. Don't ever feel like you're the only one because you're never, no matter what you're experiencing, you're actually never the only one, whether it's sewing, whether it's a life thing that's happened, just look around. You'll find other people that have experienced it and gone through it uh, and so it's sometimes it's helpful to chat with them anyway there's my pep talk for saturday <laughs> Saturday pep talk. Okay, I want to also give a huge shout out to our ambassador, Kathy, who has helped me sort of connect some of my extra goods uh, that I needed to rehome from here with uh, Hillary in Maryland. And Hillary has just opened her own sewing studio. 
You can go read this article over at her Facebook page uh, or you can just go to her website and she has started up a sewing studio so she can teach people to sew which I think is absolutely fantastic and Kathy uh, connected me with her so that my um, rulers and supplies and all that kind of stuff that I just had duplicates or things I never used or things I found that didn't really work for my brain they could all go to her to use with her students so it's so nice to be able to help somebody else get started so I think it's fabulous and if you're ever in the area by her uh, sewing studio stop in and say hello go and visit her <laughs> Let's wrap up with the gnomes. Oh, they're out visiting with Carrie in New York. So let's see what they got up to. to. get the adventure started, Carrie and her son Robert drove from East Greenbush to Gwendale, New York to reunite cousin Fred with his gnome family. They haven't, been, they haven't seen him in a long time. So here we are with uh, Ambassador Suzanne on the left and Ambassador Carrie on the right. And Carrie is holding uh, these, the aqua uh, cousin Fred. <laughs> After visiting with Suzanne, they headed off to meet Jules at school. So here they are outside with Robert and Jules, outside Jules's college. Isn't that fun? Just love it. The gnomes also got a huge kick out of the glass triangular student union building. They said it looks like half square triangles. <laughs> Then Norman and Nanette took a walk around the pond, and we think Cousin Fred actually went to take a nap. So Jules might find him laying on her bed. <laughs> now to prepare for the library quilt along, Nanette thought it would be really good for them to go to the campus library and look at all the book titles. Norm found Plato in the philosophy section. <laughs> If you are a Hogan's Heroes fan, philosophy. <laughs> so Nanette found a book uh, for Lucy called Women of the Modern World. And then Baby Bob went off on his own, unsupervised, <laughs> that little devil. And they found him quite a while later sleeping in a poetry book by Shel Silverstein, one of Jules's favorite authors. At this point, Jules wanted to show the gnomes her lecture classroom. And who do we find there but Fred? He was trying to take in a history and jazz class. <laughs> there he is, hanging out. And then Baby Bob was up there at the front teaching the class and writing on the, on the uh, chalkboard. So we might have a professor in the making with Baby Bob. There's a close-up of Baby Bob right there, <laughs> leaving his mark on the class for all to see. And then on the way back to the dorm, Lucy wanted to pose with the S-U-N-Y New Pulse Angel Wings. Isn't that fabulous? Ah, oh, so gorgeous. This whole trip was started because it was Jules' birthday. So we got to, they got to go to the party. So the gnomes gave Jules a tiny birthday bag for her, with her favorite Tate chocolate chip cookies. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Had to be a tiny bag because they're gnomes. <laughs> oh, then the gnomes loved wearing party hats and were getting quite excited for the strawberry cupcakes with strawberry frosting. And there they met a couple of Jules and Robert's favorite stuffed animals. Oh my goodness, look at them. <laughs> they are all so cute. <laughs> Let the party fun begin. They finally got to celebrate uh, together. Then before they left, they stopped and had a little Easter celebration for um, little Lucy and baby Bob. So they got to meet the gnome Easter bunny. So cute, so cute. They, everybody had a fantastic time with Carrie and her kids. Uh, the gnomes now are back with Suzanne. And so uh, in a little while, we'll see some more adventures. Thank from you them. for taking a tour here through my studio. Just uh, random things we're working on, things that we're doing. And before I forget, I finished this um, parts block. <laughs> I guess that's a good way to call them. They're parts block. So there were parts from uh, cutaways and I just put them into one block. Uh, these were from the Scrappiness is Happiness. And so I, I either will put the block in the parts center or I might make, I need to might measure it and see if it can go on a pillow. So that's, that's what that is for. So I love you. Mwah. Be sure you show me some mushrooms. <laughs> Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I will see you online.